Indiana Ice Classic fans. We caught some action on the webcam out on the ice. And so I decided to come out here to see what we could find out what's going on out here. So this is a really, really, really exciting time because this is just days before the tripod goes up on the ice. And Rebecca and I are just so giddy about this. <laughs> so um, I hope maybe you can hear the chainsaw going in the background. Um, you can see what's going on out here. And I'll take a walk down there to show kind of what's going on as well. But you can hear the chainsaw. And so what they've done out there on the ice is cleared out, like plowed out this whole huge clearing so that um, on Sunday, when we have tripod days, anyone in the community just comes out here and we go out into this clearing and that is where the tripod is set into the ice. And so what they're doing now is using the chainsaw to cut um, rivets or um, yeah, like ditches, I guess, in the ice to place the tripod in. This is so exciting. This is actually the first time I've seen this happening in person. And so it's super cool to be a part of the action. You can see they've plowed this whole pathway out on the river. So down over there is kind of like a ramp where vehicles will be um, driving onto. And yes, the ice is strong enough to hold vehicles. So um, come Sunday, they'll drive the, so right here, this is the 2023 tripod. It's constructed new every year. And they will take this tripod apart, load it onto a back of a truck, drive it. Oh, there goes one of the Ice Classic trucks. <laughs> or um, over here is where the truck will be able to come down onto the ice, drive it over, and then it's a community tripod raising right here on, on Sunday. And you can see I have these nice new gloves, everyone. <laughs> I've had problems in the past having my hands frozen off, it, off uh, filming for you guys. So I went ahead and got these gloves so that I could stay out longer to show all the fans what's going on out here. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions about what's going on. Um, it's a really, really fun event to go to tripod days and I'll tell you a little bit more about it while I go try to walk down there on the ice. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to have to walk that whole stretch. If so, maybe I won't, but I'll see if I can get down on the other side of this berm. This will be an adventure. Um, so tripod days is the community event hosted by the Ninana Ice Classic to celebrate tripod, the tripod as well as give back to the community big time. So it's an event that is open to anyone and everyone. There's lots of vendors that come. It's honestly like one of the biggest vendor events in Ninana. And okay, hold on. Yeah, it's looking like I might have to walk way further down because it's a pretty steep drop onto the river from this point. It all depends on how the river freezes and how the snow falls, if there's enough snow to give a ramp down. Anyway, okay, so there's lots of vendors that come to Tripod Days, and the best part of all is all the contests that happen. Um, I've actually been like the hula hoop contest champion for like three years in a row. Last year I forfeited the title because I actually totally missed. I had stepped out to take care of something when they had the <laughs> hula hoop contest. So I was super bummed about that. But we'll see if I can regain that title this Saturday for the hula hoop contest champion. I've also done fairly well at the jump rope contest. I haven't kept an undefeated title on that, but it's super fun. <laughs> so, okay. 
Let's see if I can get all the way down there. Yeah, I really, I really might just have to walk the whole thing, but I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> so, oh yeah, um, Jenny says, thank you for doing this. You are so welcome. I love this, honestly. So it's really fun for me and it's so fun to hear what you guys think of all of it. Let me know your questions. Um, tell me if you've ever been to Ninana before, if you've ever been to Tripod Days before. It's super fun. So um, they officially release the contest schedule and all of that. Um, it's already out in our community, so we'll probably drop that in the um, in the Facebook page so you can see what all fun stuff happens on Tripod Weekend. And they have like banana eating contests, pickle eating contests, lemon eating contests, donut eating contests, hula hoop, um, limbo, jump rope, uh, dessert contests. Let's see, what else? Uh, like bead making contests, uh, grungiest car heart contests. I mean, you name it. It is so much fun. And everyone who participates gets a dollar and the winner gets either two dollars or like something higher if it's a if it's a more uh, high stakes competition. <laughs> so it's super, super fun to participate. My boys who are eight and seven are super stoked about it. Um, oh, bubble blowing contest. <laughs> um, my eight year old has actually been practicing his bubble blowing with the bubble gum. So there's just so much, so much fun stuff. Um, so, it's going to be a fun weekend. I'll tell you a little bit more about what goes out in preparation for the tripod to go up. So here I am. I've walked down to uh, kind of close to the train bridge. And then this is where the river is more accessible. Um, so I'll just go ahead and walk down and we'll see if we can talk to some of those guys. I don't want to interrupt them in their work per se, but maybe they'll give us a few tips about what they're doing. And at the very least, we'll just get to watch for a while. So, like I said, the tripod, which is newly built every single year. And if you want to see some of that, um, I posted about that earlier in... I think like around the end of June was when those posts went up. And so it's it's put together, it's harvested from trees locally here in the area and painted and prepared. And then the new tripod gets put on the shore right next to the tripod tower every year. And so the tripod that's up there is the 2023 tripod that was built summer of 2022. And so when they bring it out here, it's it's like, it's huge. It's like 30 feet tall or something. I Don't quote me on that, because it might be a little bit smaller, but it's, it's not a small tripod. It's big and heavy, and it really, really takes like lots of people to raise it up properly, because it's heavy. And so that's why instead of just setting it on the ice to like slip and slide everywhere, they cut out or carve out these notches in the ice so that, oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was covering the camera there. They cut out the notches so that um, the tripod base can actually be frozen into the ice. And once it's placed in the notches, they drill holes through down to the water so that the water comes up and freezes over the legs of the tripod. So it's like 100% secure. It's not going to go anywhere until the ice thaws and gives out. And you can learn more about that and watch the whole entire process um, with the documentary called Classic. It is so good, guys. 
I've watched that documentary like at least seven times just because it's so fun to watch and you pick up on new things every time. So I highly encourage you if you're super into the Ninana Ice Classic, that is an excellent, excellent like overview and, and look into what it actually looks with the Ice Classic. Oh, it's getting a little bit slippery. You can't see the ice, but I can sure feel it. Here, I'll show you guys. I'll turn you around <laughs> and give you a wave. Hi! Wow, yeah, see? There's the ice. I'll show you. See, you can you can see the ice. It's it's slippery right underneath here. But anyway, Going on this super fun walk to go check out what they're doing with the chainsaws out there, which is cutting the notches, I'm assuming. I'm guessing that's what they're working on right now. So, yeah. Here we go. Jenny says, I've been to Ninana before, but have never seen the tripod rising. So, that would be super fun if you're ever able to make it back out to Ninana, then come join us for Tripod Weekend. Also, even if um, even if you don't get the chance to come back, what was your favorite part about Ninana? I'd love to hear. I really love hearing what draws people to Ninana because it really is such a unique, really cool place. Um, I think it's a... Um, about 13 degrees here I'm not sure it's not super super cold it is nippy but it's definitely not like below zero or anything like that so let me know what's the temperature where you're at <laughs> um, it might get pretty noisy it is a chainsaw that is on over there so I don't know if I actually will be able to do much talking but I'll at least show you what's happening if they're able to chat with us a bit that would be super awesome but other than that I'm not really gonna bother them in the work that they're doing so yeah just enjoy the experience <laughs> Jenny says, everything. People are so friendly and the awesome views all around. Yes, I would I would agree with that. It's beautiful around here. And the people are very, very friendly. And thanks for sharing that. Larry says, it's in the high 70s here in South Georgia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit jealous. But of course if it was 70 degrees, 70 degrees then we couldn't have this so <laughs> okay here we go hi it's okay if I come and watch you guys for a second awesome thanks okay so you can see over here these are the blocks that they've already cut out so this is a pretty intensive process because these ice blocks are thick and very heavy. Sorry, I know it's really loud, so I'll try to get in a better spot where you can hear me. Okay, so these ice blocks are very heavy. I know they don't look like big chunk I mean like they don't look super huge and they really aren't super huge but ice is so heavy so when they are trying to cut out these notches they have to carve them out block by block and um, put them off to the side over here so hey how about let's make a game out of it and guess how many blocks you think it takes to carve out the whole set of notches <laughs> that would be fun so let's see I'll let's see if we can start estimating a little bit so it looks like hi 
Um, it looks like they have part of one notch, or maybe that is the whole notch, but just this one section right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. So Jenny says 50. Given the current estimation, I'd say that's probably about right. <laughs> But I have no idea, so let's keep watching. I won't stay here the whole time, but um, I'll definitely be back here over the next couple days for Tripod Weekend and beyond. So I'll be able to count the total number of blocks that come out. So yeah, keep sending your guesses. And um, whoever gets the makes the first guess that is a hundred percent correct or at least close we will send you a special prize <laughs> okay I'm gonna go in a little bit closer and I won't say anything just because it's already way too hard to hear but let's go watch them Okay, so it looks like we have some new people tuning in. Welcome, Doris. Um, give me a shout out if it's way too hard to hear, but I will keep trying my best to talk. Oh, they turned the they turned the chainsaws off for now. Okay, so this is what's going on. They are cutting the notches in the ice so that they can place the tripod in there. This weekend on Sunday, will be the 2023 tripod raising. So there's the there's the tripod tower with the clock and the tripod is right there sitting next to it. So they will deconstruct the 2023 tripod, load the pieces on the back of a truck, drive it down onto the ice and place the base of the tripod into these notches. So what they're doing right now is carving out the notches by slicing it into bricks of ice. I hope that uh, answers your question, Doris. <laughs> Welcome, by the way. So these are the ice blocks that have been carved out and removed already. There's, um, there's 10 of them so far. And so we made it into a little guessing game to see how close anyone can get for how many ice blocks they're carving out. Awesome. So, okay. I'm glad that helps, Doris. So I'm going to see if I can go say hi and talk to them while they are recharging. Or, like, it looks like they're refueling real quick. Hey, thank you so much for letting me watch. This is so cool. <laughs> How long have you been watching? <laughs> I don't know, like six or seven minutes. Oh, okay. I don't have a very good so concept I of time. Right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's easy to be down here for half hour. Nobody knows. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, um, if you don't mind, I'm uh, showing the Ice Classic fan page what's going on down here. Oh, cool. And so they're all really, really excited about what's going on. Um, I kind of briefly told them 
what you're doing, you're slicing chunks of ice out to be able to lay the tripod in there. Do you want to yeah. tell me anything else about it? The uh, actual tripod becomes a part of the ice, so it'll it'll sit about two feet down. Mm -hmm. We'll fill it up with water. It'll freeze solid, and when this whole ice sheet goes, the tripod goes with it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, we're really, really excited for a tripod weekend. Cool. And We're going to need uh, about 40 or 50 people on Sunday at 4 o'clock to put it up. Yeah, I will be here for sure. Good. Yeah, and I know there's lots of people that are excited. Um, how many years have you been doing this? This is my 21st. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. Um, were you the one that built the tripod as well? Yeah, I built it as well. Awesome. Um, if it's not too distracting, I know you're at work, but do you want to tell us a little bit about that if you can? Um, it's basically just seven trees we cut into pieces and paint nice and pretty. Uh huh. Spike together. Nice and simple. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, all told, it's probably a hundred person hours. Wow. To, to, you know, get it to look like that. Uh-huh. Well, um, I watched the documentary classic. Oh, yeah. Like, seven times, because <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. And so I've, I've watched a bit of that process, and it's really cool what you're able to do with that. So, that's really cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a quarter million dollar piece of driftwood, I guess. <laughs> Yep, they yep. One every year. Yeah. They they never come back. Most of them are never seen again. Every once in a while, somebody on one of the barges that runs the rivers will spot one or a piece of one sticking out of a sandbar uh -huh. downstream. But Yeah. I know people go looking for them just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I can totally see that. You know, once the ice is gone, the water goes down a bit. Yeah. I know, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how many have been spotted over the years, but I've yeah. probably only heard from four or five, five people. So I've heard that there's a collection down in Tanana, but yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's yeah, true. Always that rumor that somebody's <laughs> built a log cabin out of them. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> uh, but I would imagine if that were true, we'd see pictures of it on the internet mm. by now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Probably somebody's fantasy. <laughs> well, and I know a couple flags have been retrieved here and yeah, there. Yeah, I have. Heard, I I do hear about a lot of flags. I know somebody was telling me a couple of years ago they ran across one and they had it hanging on their like fishing cabin or something uh -huh. downstream. So that's so be fun. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing what you guys You're are welcome. doing and. Yeah, I'll give them one last look at the ice notches, and we'll be back later. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll have a decent pile of blocks by then. Cool. Um, I kind of made it into a fun contest to see how, you know, like, what people's guesses are of how many blocks it'll take. So, shh, don't, you know, don't tell us. But <laughs> uh, This will be an interesting year to do that because there are going to be far fewer than there have been in prior years. Oh, interesting. So, why is that? Uh, because I usually have my nephews helping me pull them out <laughs> and two adults can lift bigger pieces than a bunch of little kids can. That and he gets way carried away with them and they're too big anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. That's super fun. So and it's not going to be many. Okay. Well, we'll see how close we can get. And that's extra fun to know that it's a, a different year than normal. So yeah, it'll kind of throw people for a loop. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a lot fewer by like 20%. Yeah, yeah interesting. Cool. It's a lot of work cutting them, so if you can make them bigger, it's always easier. Yeah, that makes they sense. They come out pretty good with the stick we're using. So. Yeah. Well, thanks again. This is really You're fun welcome. to watch. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is what it looks like so far, and out of total transparency, my phone is about to die, so it'll end probably any second now, but here you go. This is what it's looking like. Welcome to the 2023 tripod raising prep work. We'll see you later. <laughs>